Hi friends, Tracy here from The Sewing Channel. Today's video is so fast paced that you'll want to listen fast. I'm going to make it easy on you today. I'm going to use already striped fabric. Now this is a little different than my other exploding pinwheel block that I put out last year. This one, we don't have to make the stripes. Easy, enough talking already. Let's make some easy exploding pinwheel quilt blocks. For today's demonstration, I've chosen this really cute navy and white stripe. Now these stripes are a little more than three quarter inches in width. And then I've also chosen this really cute patriotic star print. You will also need a background fabric as well. Check out the top right hand corner of your screen. With these two pieces of fabric right here, this is the side of the block that it will make. So you will want to cut your stripes long ways. You'll want your background fabric. My fabric is approximately take and put right sides together. Pin both sides. Take it to your sewing machine. Sew a quarter inch down this side and a quarter inch down this side. Both sides have been sewn at a quarter inch. Find your stitch line right there and right here. Take a line on one of your rulers, match it up on that stitch line. Cut off the end. From this edge to this edge is four and a quarter inches in width. You will want to go from this end in four and a quarter inches in width. Find your four and a quarter mark on your ruler. Try to line up one of the lines on your stitch line. It's lined up here, here, and here. Slice it. Keep this in this direction. Do not turn it in any way. Keep it just as you cut it on your table. You'll be cutting two pieces of this for one block. Find your four and a quarter again, line up your stitch line with a line on your ruler, down here, up here, and on this side, and slice it. And you're keeping this in the same orientation that you did this. We are going to slice on the diagonal on these right now. We're not going to set these aside for another time. You'll wanna do it right away so you don't forget what you're doing because it's very easy to mix these up. When you slice these corner to corner, you want to go here and you also want to do it the same here. Whatever angle you slice from on this block in this orientation, you want to do the same on this. Let me show you. Corner to corner, slice. Corner to corner, slice. Whatever your preference is, press open, press to the side, whichever way you do it, just press them. <laughs> In the star fabric print, place your ruler corner to corner, corner to corner. You should have eight pieces in total now to do your exploding pinwheel block. I told you it was easy, right? Let's look at some variations with this quilt block. So much can be done with this block. This does not have to be a patriotic block at all. I took these cows and chickens and hens and ducks and whatnot and took some of this fabric that I had left over from my attic window quilt. It looks like a distressed wood. Look how cute it is with these farm animals. Here's another variation right here with the small stripes with the stars. It looks like way more work than what it actually is. I took the blue stripe, just like we did earlier. Instead of finding one print that was all the same, I took this yardage I had and I fussy cut these really cute nautical themed pictures out. There are so many possibilities with this exploding pinwheel quilt. For all of you out there that enjoyed today's tutorial, I have handpicked some videos just for you. They're on the screen right now around me. Go ahead, click one of them, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Until next time on The Sewing Channel, take care.